I love driving with my windows down, but at what cost? I'll tell you what's the cost. The other drivers around me can hear me go hard to Natasha Bedingfield's iconic bop, Pocket Full of Sunshine, while yelling at them for being morons who don't know how to use a turn signal. Yee. The story of cats is that in the 1930s, the famous poet T.S. Eliot wrote a book of cutesy little cat-themed poems for his godchildren. And then 40 years later, Andrew Lloyd Webber found a lost cat poem that T.S. Eliot had cut from the cat book for being too sad for children. And Andrew Lloyd Webber was like, Whoa, a cat, that's, that's sad. That's deep, man. I want to make a musical out of this. So the producer assigned to the project was like, Okay, I guess you could maybe read these cat poems as a satire to 1930s British society. We could probably do some sort of interesting thing with that. I'm thinking like a cast about five. And Andrew Lloyd Webber was like, No, forget the satire. Also, I want to cast a dozens in the most advanced magical effects technology ever seen on stage. I've taken out a second mortgage on my house to fund this. And the producer's like, what, 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 do you even have a plot? And Andrew Lloyd Webber got a bunch of actors and writers and artists together, and they holed up and did cocaine, workshopped for about five weeks, and at the end of it, they emerged and said, the plot is that a bunch of cats are having a dance contest for the right to take a UFO to cat heaven. And then it made $2 billion. I'm sorry, the plot of cats is what? Please remember not to be harsh on yourselves. Don't tell me what to do! I don't even listen to me! If you're feeling mysterious, take a mildly threatening sounding post and use a random name when referring to the person reading and give a few people with that name a heart attack. Dave, never go into the cellar. It has begun, Olivia. So much in Silent Hill knows my cat was too. Here he is digging it. And here he is not digging it anymore. If the horror movie doesn't have synth in the soundtrack, is it really sexy? I think you mean scary. I absolutely don't. Today I learned that daddy long legs have been around for at least 400 million years, barely changing, and predate the dinosaurs. Longevity kings. More like long leggedy kings. Yes, I am and always have been cringy. Yes, I know it's supposed to be terminal by now. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining is my new catchphrase. And it's a powerful one. Hold on. Goad told us they sound more like salad fingers, so... Yes, I am and have always been cringy. Yes, I know it's supposed to be terminal by now. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining is my new catchphrase. And it's a powerful one. The only two ways I can categorize height is if I see something tall, I go, Whoa, big boy, man. And if I see something short, I go, Heh, <laughs> baby, man. And I don't know what to blame for this. Anyway, want to hear about the time that ghost touched my ass? Sometimes I shine so beautifully that I can't even stare at myself without sunglasses. So other times I look and feel like wet New York garbage. Hold up, wait, wait. I just realized this is wrong. I'm perfection incarnate. I may be the center of the universe now that I'm thinking about it. Ah, never mind. My favorite form of redemption arc is I hate that I have morals now. Like, I realized I was in the wrong and now I work hard to atone as good and all. But how dare you infect me with morals? Will always be so much more entertaining. The moment when the former baddie starts to walk away in some bad situation, almost gets out and then just stops, curses, and turns around to go help. Mwah! Delicious! This one gets it! How the fuck has this site become so bearable? This place was a shit show a few years ago, but now it's actually good? And not full of instant discourse the way Facebook and Twitter are? Everyone is just tired. This site hasn't improved. The rest of the world just crashed and burned so hard that this place looks like a haven in comparison. If anyone had told me Tumblr would be the most tolerable social media site in 2020, I would have called them crazy. Yet, here we are. Go, Ouija! I do not intend to die anytime soon, but just in case, here's my will. All my money goes to the dude at my funeral who tells the best story about me, as voted by the other funeral attendees. Any genre is acceptable, but paranormal erotica is highly encouraged. And the runner-up gets my corpse. Oh, man, is it so hard to deliberately win second place! Which will you press? Create ducks? Or remove ducks? I'm pressing as hard as I can and it's not fucking working, OP! <laughs> oh fuck! My university has these toilets and they're honestly ridiculous. What is your gender? Obviously, top hats. Walks up to these toilets in a bowler hat and red lipstick. <laughs> Both of these toilets are for Liza Minnelli and no one else. What if oxygen is poisonous and it just takes 75 to 100 years to kill us? My science teacher said he thinks that's true, actually. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly what is going on. It's why antioxidants are such a big fucking deal. 
Bonus fact, oxygen oxidizes stuff in your cells, or in other words, it's not toxic. It's just setting you on fire. Very, very slowly. Mm -hmm.